Create Plain Ceilings. To do this, select Plain Auto Ceiling command. Place the ceiling in every rooms without ceiling. Here at the stairwell we have to use plain ceiling by polygon command because the small technical room under the staircase would not be covered by the previous command. Draw its contour. Let's check the result in 3D. Above the stair we can automatically create a cutout in the ceiling and in the slab. For this we only need an existing staircase. Select the staircase and from the local menu select the Cut Slabs Above the Stair command. If we choose this, we cut not only the floor but also the ceiling. This is a special case of cutouts. Let's look another example for cutout. In this room we will create a ceiling with cutout and we will add lighting to it. Select the ceiling and click on the pencil icon to enter its properties. Let's check the plain ceiling properties and settings. We can determine how thick it is and also the material. Furthermore, different materials can be assigned to the bottom, side and top panels. We will now use a single color. If we want to place lamps, here we can determine how they should look like. We can select one object or a series of spotlights here. This is a saved lamp group assignment, which can be created with the program. In this example, as per the light allocation, spotlights are placed at every 600 mm to the selected location. If we want to change this, click on the pencil icon under Pattern tab. By clicking on the Lighting tab, the automatic profile works the way that the distance can be set between the light distribution and the outer contour of the ceiling. Here the lights are placed at every 600 mm. If we want to do differently, click on the Middle tab, turn off the Apply the default setting. Here you can set also the offset too. Now we want the spots not only to reach the surface with their bases, but rather a bit recessed. To do this, set the vertical offset value to 30 mm. If this value positive, then it will push upwards the spotlights. If the value is negative, then it will push down the spots. We are ready with the spots, and now we are going to cut a hole. The situation is similar on holes and insets tab. With the help of the automatic profile, you can define the extent of hole. Using the automatic profile, a 1200 mm cut is created now. Click on the green button and the cutout is created. This makes easy to create an exterior lighting ledge with this ceiling tool. With the OK button, close the dialog window and see the result in 3D. Let's prepare a closing element. Select and open its properties. Click on the Hole tab. Click on the second tab that shows the insets. The inset could be different, so let's choose a simple ceiling now. Push it vertically to minus 100 mm, then it descends. Overwrite it to a positive value and now it will move upwards. In addition, we need borders as well. To do this, click on the third tab and select Simple Border. You can customize its cross section and size by clicking on the pencil icon.
except with OK button, and a fully covered ceiling is created. Let's look another example when we want to create a unique lamp series and add another latch to the ceiling. Select the ceiling of the meeting point and enter its properties. Click on the molding tab. Select a border and move to the lighting tab. In lighting, we can work not only with the automatic profile or other ready-made shapes or previously saved ones in the program, but we can draw on our profile by clicking on the star icon. Here is a predefined line. We redraw it, then press Enter. Then we can return to the plain ceiling property window. The costume profile appears and click on green tick to place the lamp allocation.